The journey of a thousand miles, so goes the saying, starts with a single step. For Northeastern Province, that journey towards having its own university began with a noble idea coming to life, a trek towards the establishment of the Wajia Peace University, finally taking shape. So just give you little background. And the leaders drawn from the province joined hands with planning assistant minister Peter Kenneth for a fundraiser for the Wajia Peace University, where the Gatanga MP was chief guest. In the early 1990s, the late Dere Ibrahim, who later on won the 2007 Right Livelihood Award, also known as the Alternative Nobel Award, as well as the 2009 Hessen Peace Prize joined hands with several other women, including Nuria Abdullahi and Halima Shurie, and together they founded the Wajia Peace and Development Committee. That team of women helped return peace to Wajia district, which was then torn in ethnic violence that had killed many, and since then they have successfully passed their knowledge in peace-building courses across several leading universities across the globe. In September 2007, the idea of having a peace university in Wajia was born. It will offer peace education as a specialized study to students alongside other mainstream university courses. But if our university is to be different <clears throat> and therefore to attract resources, can I suggest that it's going to be based on the experience of people working for peace in the region and more widely. Leaders who gathered for Saturday's fundraiser paid tribute to the late Dehe Ibrahim and welcomed the idea of having a university in northeastern province. To date, 45 years down the road, we don't have a single university, even a constituent college university in the, all of the three counties of Northeastern Province. We took these matters to Parliament. Every time there's an acknowledgement that there is a need, but there has been no effort by government to provide those facilities in Northern Kenya. But the consolation today is we have a new constitutional framework. For us, as residents of Northern Kenya, please let us walk the talk. So when you have an institution that offers higher education, then you are going to have all our kids from Northeastern coming in there and other kids from other parts, which means there will be proper integration. And that way we can be able to kill clanism, tribalism. Over 7 million shillings were raised at the Harambe. Abdi Osman, Sunday Live.